Good morning. Welcome to BBW, uh, Brandy's Beauty World. Just a real quick, I am new to the makeup uh, world on social media, so be kind. Little nice motto to live by, be kind. So let's jump into our makeup review. Um, today I am going to be reviewing this new palette that I got. It's Morphe by Avani Greg for the Beebs. I'm not even really sure who this person is. Um, no shade, but again, I'm new to the world. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick the palette. And it's got really beautiful colors. I, I am digging the yellows, the oranges the blues, the purples. And what's cool about this, and um, I've never dealt with this, but this last two columns right here, you can activate it with water and it becomes liner. So we'll see how that works. Um, so let's begin. So today I've already moisturized my skin. I've got it prepped and um, I have got this in my little Sephora birthday gift. And let me tell you, I love it. It is the Lineage Leap Sleeping Mask. It's really nice to put. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It just really makes your lips feel awesome. Okay, let's do our eye, uh, eyebrows. I am using the Fenty Beauty Eyeline, uh, Eyebrow Pencil. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning it up a little bit and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to prep my eyes for the eyeshadow and I'm using Jeffree Star Concealer. And I'm running low, so it's not going to be a whole lot. We're going to be using the Beep Bop for the transition color. So I'm going to put this right here and I like to just dab it first and then just start doing the windshield wiper move and for the transition color I mean you can start light and then just build up the, the color and this is what the transition color looks like on both eyes so I will just be showing me doing one eye on camera and then doing the other one off camera. So the next color will be seaweed and I'm going to put that right in the crease. So the moment of truth, how well are these going to blend in together? So I'm just patting it on the crease and then I'm just going to do that windshield wipe remove right underneath the yellow and bringing it in to get that corner just like that so you'll want to make sure you do some circle motions to buff out the colors that way it's not hard um, where you it's just well blended you just got to circle motions to just blend that colors those two colors together and I think that is done I'm gonna to go to a darker green next color I will be going with mama's fave and I'm using a more smaller it's a little fluffy to go in on the crease of my eye just to build up the color Okay, so I'm going to start packing it in the corner of my eye into like the C, the C shape. Right there. And I'm going to start, I'm starting to do the corner of my eye with the darker color too. We might just do like a little spotlight look. So I'm going to tilt my head to the side and pack the corner because you want to go the where you want the color to go so that looks good came out pretty good 
So I'm just going to connect these two. And if your line is sharp, we're going to go over the, the darker green with our blending brush just to buff it out and make it look blended. So, and I'm going to make a little wing, so just softly making my wing with this green and bringing it to the corner of my eye. So we're going to blend that green in with that original brush that we had and we're going to just buff it out just so it can be blended and not look so harsh. So it's uh, not really blending like I want it to. Let's see if we can just work at it. Sometimes you just have to really work at it. So after all the blending, uh, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to do a uh, real quick underneath my eyes and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the top. Just build it up, use the yellow, the lime green, and then that dark green just to build up the color. So for the under eye, I'm using the smaller brush and just lightly going underneath the eye. So I'm putting the green on underneath the eye and I'm just lightly going over. I'm just connecting the wing look with the bottom look. And I've already done this side. Perfect, and that's what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go in with Hidden and I'm gonna lightly put this color on the corner of my eyes just to give my corners just a little bit more depth. Okay, so I'm going to put it, lightly tap it on the corner. I'm going to bring it down a little bit underneath the eye. Just lightly, I'm not trying to take away from the green. But I just want the corners just to be a little bit more in depth. We're going to also put that dark, uh, that black right here and just dabs. Don't need to do it too hard. So I am going to put some concealer where there's no makeup. Like so. like that. So when you are doing the middle and putting that concealer on, you need to make sure you close your eyes and look normal because it'll crease where your natural eye is. So I had to come up a little bit to um, cover where my natural eye lays. So it's, it's a little bit bigger. So this Aveeno Greg for the Bees palette doesn't have a shimmer green, but this Morphe palette does. And I'm going to dip into this sparkly green. And I'm going to start packing that on in the middle. Let's see if this works. I don't know if this is... It's not really going on like I want. I'm going to just use my finger and just 
lightly packing that on with my finger. It's going on better with my finger than with a brush. Sometimes those glittery um, colors, you gotta just pack on with your finger. And that's going on a lot, a lot better. So now I'm gonna try the water activated colors and I'm going to use this brush and I've already wet it. There we go. And right now I'm just really not, I'm not really familiar with this, but it's really chalky and it's not pulling up any color. I'm just gonna keep trying to build up that color on the brush. I think I'm just gonna re-wet it and try again. I'm just, I'm not really liking how it's coming out. So right here I did a couple of swatches with the color on my hand and I'm not liking how it is drying on my hand so I am not going to be using this water activated colors on my eye look today. For the waterline I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. I'm going to put it in my waterline at the bottom. I'm just bringing it down just a little. And I kind of like to go up on top. So for my eyelashes, I'm going with Pro Magnetic and it comes with a uh, liquid magnetic eyeliner. So that's what I'm gonna put on. Okay, so I'm only gonna do one eye on camera because this is just a little tricky. And it's best to put two coats on, that way your lashes really stick. While that's drying, I'm going to put a little mascara on. So I'm using the Huda, Huda Beauty. And I'm just gonna use the curl and length side. And again, I'm just doing one eye on camera. Okay. Since that's all dried, I'm going to Press on the eyelashes where I have the eyeliner. I'm just going to just really push that in there. There you go. So that so the eye look is complete and I'm pretty pretty happy with it. I'm going to move on to my foundation. So the foundation I'm using today is the Infallible L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear. And it is uh, shade 500. So foundation, I kind of just dab everywhere. I'm not much of a heavy foundation wear but today I will. So I'm going to go with a Jeffree Star Morphe brush and I'm just going to blend that in. Just make it all even. And I like to go into circular motions. Come down here and blend it out. It's really important to blend this neck out. That way you don't have like a streak of makeup just 
telling on yourself that you're wearing makeup. So on the forehead, I'm just going to lightly, because I don't want to mess up my eyebrows, just bring it up. Because you're going to go in with a small little beauty blender and just tap that in so it just doesn't look so heavy. I usually just do this around my little T area just so it looks all blended. So to clean up the eye area, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer down here and just a little line right there, both sides. And just with that small little beauty blender, just blend it. So just so it's not so harsh, just Go back and forth a little bit just to even it out. So next I'm going to use the Benefit bronzer on my cheekbones. And I like to go right in there, like right above the bottom of the cheekbone, come to the side. So with that bronzer, I'm going to go up top and bronze the top of my forehead. Come to the side. Come up. This gives you a little bit more of a chiseled look. Then come down here and just line out your jaw. Like so. So after I've done that, I'm going to buff out the bronzer a little bit so it's not so sharp of a line and just circular motions just to blend it for highlighter i use this cover fx liquid highlighter i love it it is just bam in your face glowing so with that highlighter, you really don't need a whole lot. I just dab a little on my finger and just dab where I want to highlight. Again, it's really highlights. It really highlights. So you just don't need a whole lot. I do right there. And then I just get my small little beauty blender and I just tap it because it is bright and just to even up both sides I put too much on this side so I'm just gonna bounce it out just bounce it bounce it, bounce I don't know if you can see oh there you go there you can see that beautiful highlight mm-hmm Put it, blend it out, just blend it, blend it on the nose. For blush, I'm using Bare Minimal, and it is in the color Hint. And I'm going to use this little small fluffy brush and apply it to my high cheekbone. And I just tap. And just slightly circular motions go up. Don't need a whole lot. Just a little. Just to give you that cheekiness. For the lips, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Lip Pencil in Nighthawk. And I'm just going to lightly 
line my lips. Next, to finish this look, I'm going to go with the Kate Kat Van D lipstick to go over this brown. And there you go. So thank you for joining me on BBW, Brandy's Beauty World, and I hope you enjoyed.